Hello, I'm Larry Kitchen and this is the oil pickout. What you're seeing on the left is my glass palette with my oil paints topped and, and right hand side. And on the right you'll see matte board with a brown colored pencil drawing. You can use black or dark brown. You mainly draw in the shadow areas, ignoring the highlights and the midtones. Now I've drawn this in and sprayed it with hairspray, Aquanet, or fixative will work, or clear gesso. You'll also need a flat, wide brush. Now with a little turpanoid, you see me mixing brown and blue in a consistency that I can see my drawing through it. So I'm checking there to make sure that it's not melting my wax drawing and that I can see it through my wash. Now it doesn't matter if you show paint strokes. In fact, in a way, it's kind of uh, cool to see some of the action strokes in the background wash. So I'm working my way across it and it seems with this matte board with the Aquanet hairspray soaks up the oil wash a little stronger than a surface with fixative on it. It may uh, be just the difference in brand, but it still works. So I'm going to try to push it as dark uh, as I can and still be able to see uh, my drawing through it. Then you take the kneaded eraser and you point one corner of it and you begin to pick out. Now daubing gently will lift out the brown paint revealing a very light um, brown surface, almost to white, not quite. So you'll see me, now this is two thirds or I think four times sped up, and so it's going pretty fast. You can take your time, you're not in a big rush. This will stay moist enough for you to pick out for several hours. So I'm just working my way through it, and uh, as you see my hand disappear, what I'm doing is I'm I'm pulling a new point, kind of doubling it over as it gets uh, the oil paint on there. And then I'm just lifting out, working my way around uh, with that kneaded eraser. Um, you see it works pretty easily. You could lift out with Q-tips if you'd like. If you lift out too much, uh, revealing some of your pencil drawing, you can just uh, put the turpanoid wash back across it wait a few minutes and then begin to lift out again. It's a very forgiving material and as you can see it gives you a nice um, soft highlighted area uh, that looks very much like a tin type, an old brown to white photograph. And that is a terrific base to begin your illustration project with. So as I'm working down through here, let's see I've almost got uh, down to the lips area and looking at my photo reference and just slowly working through it. It's a pretty enjoyable process. I think you'll, you'll like it quite a bit. Now, the kneaded eraser is not the only tool that you can use with this method that I learned, by the way, from a great artist and illustrator named Thomas Blackshear, who learned it from the great Mark English, who was the art director at Hallmark Cards back in the 70s. Well, I'm down toward the bottom of the face there, and uh, as uh, I've worked my way through there, I think uh, you know there's there's an interest in trying some different materials to lift out. So I found an eraser called a Moo, which is a very soft kind of vinyl rubber eraser, and uh, that's I think the only other tool I use beside the kneaded eraser on this project. But whatever you can use, whether it's tissue paper or, or um, you know, a cloth uh, or Q-tips, even an electric eraser would work. Anything, uh, including your fingers, will pull out, um, you know, this oil paint wash while it's moist for, I'd say, a couple of hours. Or on a, on a humid day, you've probably got all, all day to play around with it. So I think you'll find that it's a great way to get your illustration started quickly based on your drawing. Now suddenly this work doesn't look like a drawing anymore. It looks like a painting, although you haven't actually painted. There's that Moo eraser, M-O-O. -O. I found that at Hobby Lobby 
and it's a very soft tracer. You notice it uh, pulls it almost down to the pure white surface uh, of the matte board. The reason I'm trying matte board rather than illustration board in this example is that matte board is uh, a little less expensive than illustration board, and I just happen to have a lot of it. So uh, in this case, I cut up some some 11 by 12 inch matte board and and um, the brown Prismacolor wax pencil works well on the surface and if, as long as you seal it up you've got a good uh, sealed surface to to work on that'll stand up to a pretty good bit of, of uh, torture so I think you'll find it works pretty well. Now that Moo eraser left some crumbs on the surface so I brushed, brushed those off um, and sort of clean the surface. Now you'll notice you can pull all the way down to uh, almost to white with a gentler touch. Well that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Good luck with your illustration.